Ladies and gentlemen from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas, Gary Shaw Productions is proud to present Champion vs. Champion. It's the war at 154. 12 rounds of boxing for the unified and undisputed Super Welterweight Championship of the World. Brought to you in association with your undisputed King of Beers, Budweiser, and Square Ring Incorporated. Sanctioned by the WBA, the WBC, and the IBF, and the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Nevada Chairman John Bailey, Executive Director Mr. Mark Ratner. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Tony Weeks. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, with dedication to the men and women now serving in harm's way with the armed forces of the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with blue. He weighed in officially at 154 pounds. He brings an outstanding professional record to the ring. In 49 bouts, he has 46 victories, including 25 knockouts with only three defeats. From St. Petersburg, Florida, presenting the IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Ronald. Winky Ryan! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with silver, his official weight, 154 pounds. His professional record, also outstanding. 41 bouts with 39 victories, including 35 knockouts, with only two defeats and one no decision. From Pomona, California, the former lightweight world champion, former welterweight world champion, reigning and defending, WBA, WBC super welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in the dressing room. Okay, look, if he goes right here, it's okay, and his rent's gonna be low. Right here is okay, and his rent's gonna be low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Ready? Let's go. In my fantasy, Wright will try to fight Mosley the way Hagler fought Hearns, trying to walk him down because he's the bigger man. Mosley will fight Wright the way Leonard Ford Hagler trying to box him, throw flurries, and move. I don't think Rich is going to throw the volume of punches that Hagler threw, though, that. Or it could be a tactical chess match from the beginning, but we'll see as they meet in the center of the ring and both begin to try to use their jab. Just as in the preceding fight, remember, you're looking at a southpaw against a conventional fighter. Possibility of headbutts, possibility of feet getting tangled up, difficulty of establishing your jab, especially for the conventional fighter who's not as accustomed to this kind of confrontation. That's correct, and Wink is very, very accustomed to fighting right-handers. Body shots by Shane, Winky grins at him. Shane trying to get a right hand straight through the middle, and Winky still grinning at Shane. Right trying to show Shane that he's enormously confident coming into the ring. Hard left hand over the top by right. Already it appears that after having to chase a lateral moving De La Hoya down much of the night, September 13. Shane's going to find Winky Wright a lot easier to find. Yeah, Winky Wright is walking him down. 
tight defense. And right this stage right now seems to have the better of the fight because he, he's got uh, Shane seems to be very uncomfortable with the yeah, situation. I, I right thought now. that last left hand, hand stunned Mosey a it little did, bit. It did, it did, just prior to the tangle up. This is Wright's attempt to say, I'm the bigger, stronger man. And Mosey's letting him do it because he's not boxing the way he can box and the way he said he would try to box in this fight. He's just standing right in front of him. Ricky Wright he said that he would provide angles and that Wright wouldn't be able to attack straight ahead as is his want. But indeed, as you say, Larry, Mosley's not moving side to side. He's staying right there. He's staying very stationary and Wright is walking him down with that right jab and he's keeping it up very high over top of Shane's left hand, which makes him much more effective with the jab. Shane obviously banking that his left hook to the body is going to serve him well. He's dug it in twice. The key fight punch in this fight seems to be at this stage. Wicked Wright's right jab is going to set up everything. And until Shane starts doing something different, he's going to have a big problem going down the stretch. There's a hard right hand by Mosley. Flurries to the body inside. When you try to go to Wright's ribcage, you got to deal with the fact that he's got his arms pinned down on both sides a lot of the time. His elbows flexed right against the ribcage. He blocks many shots with those arms. Then you try to get to the head. And he's pretty good at getting the guard back up. And when you finish up with all of that, Winky comes right back with a right jab right away. You don't see a lot of defensive-minded fighters who come forward and walk you down. That's what's unique about Winky Wright. Right, grinning too much of round one. Wink, when he flurries, when he flurries, you got to flurry back. Right? Keep the feint on his ass all the time. Popping that jab with the feint. And look, look for that bottom. Look for that left hand. Bottom one. Hey, nothing, nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, give me some water, water, water. Oh, two can't be in the ring. Two can't be in the ring. Two can't be in the Get out. Get out the ring. Okay, look. All right, because of the uh, steroid controversy, we thought we'd show you a side-by-side -side picture of Shane Mosey. Here's how he looked on the right, September 13th, against Oscar De La Hoya. Yesterday, you see him at the weigh-in. Uh, I certainly can't see any difference of anything. He looks a little trimmer uh, last September. That may be because of the lighting and the angles of vision, but uh, we don't see any visual evidence that he's any less than he was uh, about six or seven months ago. This in the wake of speculation by some baseball writers that a few baseball stars have lost significant weight in uh, the interim since last season. Wick is working that jab very good, and if Shane doesn't watch, he's going to get so mesmerized for trying to control the right jab, and he's going to get out with a straight left right through the middle. Yeah, he seems to not be uh, yeah. ready for that left hand. He seems very vulnerable to... Oh, oh, oh. Watch on the We're in the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Shane Mosley in the black trunks with white trim or silver trim. Going against Winky Wright in the white trunks with blue trim. They're fighting to unify the world championship at 154 pounds. Fighting to establish which of these two fighters remains near the top of the world pound for pound rankings. Wright dug the right hand in after missing over the top with the left. Mosley trying to find room for a body punch. Didn't really get anything off. There's the hard left hook to the body by Shane Mosley. Uppercut inside. Right, counter, right counters it with a right over the top. You see how quickly Winky Wright can counter. Uh, he didn't look that impressive in the last fight because he wasn't fighting a quality fighter when he fought Hernandez. But for this fight, he's really up for it. And I think that that straight left follow and be preceded by the right jab is going to be a big, big factor. And Shane's got to get out of fighting him so straight in. He's fighting him directly, straight, square in the center. He's not moving and using the angles, which he said he would do in the meeting. Right landed a straight left over the top and a chopping right hand in that last 